Uh, this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. <coughs> and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Shalom, first and foremost, let you give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakarkadash. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, and the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word, truth, and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akia, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. Say shalom, and shalom to the Aqua sisters as well, too. Now say shalom. Salakia. <coughs> uh, and this is a uh, news article from the Huffington Post.com. And this was published as three hours ago from the Associated Press as well, too, as of October the 22nd, 2023, at 8.19 a.m. Eastern Time. And it reads, Israel strikes Gaza, Syria, and West Bank as war against Hamas threatens to ignite other fronts. Meanwhile, convey of 17 aid trucks were allowed to enter Gaza from Egypt on Sunday as Egypt state-run media reports. It says the Israeli war prune scrub targets across Gaza overnight and into Sunday, as well as two airports in Syria and a mosque in the uh, occupied West Bank, allegedly used by militants as the two-week war with Hamas threatens to spiral into a border conflict. Israel has trade fires with Lebanese militant group on a near daily basis since the war began and tensions are soaring in the Israeli occupied West Bank where Israeli forces have battered militants in refuge camps and carry out airstrikes recent days. It says, uh, It says Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told troops in the northern Israel that if Hezbollah launches a war against Israel, it would make the mistake of its life. We will cripple it with a force it cannot in even imagine and the consequences for it in the Lebanese state will be devastating. It says for days Israel has seems to be on the verge of launching a uh, ground offense in Gaza. As part of its pre part of its response to Hamas in the deadly October 7 rampage, as tanks and tens of thousands of troops has massed at the border, and Israeli leaders has spoken of unidentified next stages in operations. It says an uh, Israeli military spokesperson, Real M. Daniel Hagari, said the country has increased airstrikes across Gaza to hit targets that would reduce the risk to troops in the next stages of the war. Hamas said it fought with Israeli forces near the Khan Yunus in southern Gaza and destroyed a tank to bulldozers the Israeli military said it has no information about the today 20 trucks into gaza and the first aid shipments in the territory since israel imposed a complete siege two weeks ago right over there in the middle east wars and rumors of wars it says be ye not trouble for such things must need be but the end shall not be yet this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there 
There shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article. As of October the 22nd, 2023, updated three hours ago, and it reads, Israel strikes Gaza, Syria, West Bank as war against Hamas threatens to ignite other fronts. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash, and Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too, and Shalom to the uh, Akwaf sisters as well too. And once again, the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Baha Hashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwa Kadash, the Holy Tongue. And once again, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And Shalom to the Akwaf, sisters as well, too. Until next time, I will say Shalom.